guys and welcome back to my channel so in today's video I will be showing you guys how I do my eyebrows and basically a little mini tutorial for beginners on how to do brows with pencil and pomade so I hope that you guys enjoy this video I hope that you guys can learn something from it if you're maybe a beginner or new to makeup or just want to see how I personally do things so yeah hope this video can be helpful I'm not going to make this a very long intro because I'm pretty sure the video itself is already way too long because I talk so freaking much but anyways thank you guys so much for watching i love you and let's get right into the video so now that we're zoomed in just a little bit more so that you guys can get a closer look at everything that i'm gonna be doing on my brows first i think i'm gonna start with my right brow which is this one this is like you see it has left but this is my right brow and it is the brow that i flipping messed up <laughs> As I told you guys about um, in the like Christmas party get ready with me, you guys can go back to that video and see my brow was, this top part of my brow was non-existent. And I'm so thankful that it's growing back and it's actually looking more like this one. So thank you, Jesus. I'm going to do this brow with a pencil and then this brow with a pomade so that you guys can see the two different looks and the two different ways to work with the product. I'm not going to be using brow powder because I just don't do that. I feel like... You could work with powder the same way you could work with pomade, just using powder, and it kind of like works the same way. I've tried other brow pencils, but this is just my all-time favorite ever since I tried it on my brow. This is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer Ultra Fine Tip Shaping Pencil. And you guys, this pencil is everything. It looks like this, and it is so freaking good so freaking good i have the shade dark brunette i think that's the darkest one that they have i believe i did not see any shades that were darker than that so i don't really know but i just got the darkest one that i could find since my brows are black and my hair is kind of like darkish lightish brown it really depends on like the lighting and how my hair is looking that day but i do not like to go straight on with like a black just with a black pencil with a black pomade i don't i like to go for more natural look so that's why my brow products are brown and they're lighter than my actual brow now obviously makeup is art you could do whatever you want whichever shade you could go darker you could go lighter it's all up to you but i personally just like going a little bit lighter because i just Trust me, I have tried black brows and they do not look good on me. So the first thing I'm going to do is just take the little spoolie that comes on the pencil. And I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of comb my brow hairs. I'm not really doing it up. I'm just like combing them like normal. And then now I'm just going to comb all of them up so that I can be able to see what I'm working with. And I apologize, you guys, because I have to do my eyebrow like i see some hairs that are like out of place and stuff like that and i also have pimple right here but let's just ignore that anyways i have my pencil ready and basically what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna do a line from basically i think the middle from right here up to the tail of my brow so i'm just first just gonna draw that line all the way down there the heck i have like i don't know if that was an eyelash or brow hair but yeah, I'm just going to draw that line underneath and then I'm going to do the same thing over top and then fill it all out. But I'm just going to show you how I do that really quick. Wherever I see any sparse area, I'm just lightly just going in and filling in. I'm not really drawing that line right now. I'm just kind of like randomly filling in any sparse areas that I see. And now I'm going to go in with the line. Just kind of take it from this point and drag it out towards the tail. And as you guys can see, I'm not just like drawing. I'm doing a mixture of doing the line and then doing simple small strokes so that it looks more natural and we don't just have like a block of a line right there on our eyebrow. Now that I've done that, I'm just going to continue to comb it up. And I can see just little other sparse areas, so I'm just going to go in and fill those parts in really quick. Now that this is basically done, I'm just going to go in and brush my brow as I normally would, just like so. And then I'm just going to be looking at both of my brows, even though this one is not done yet, but I can kind of get a gist 
of how this brow looks and how this brow is going to turn out just to kind of like make this brow as similar to this the other one as much as I can. So I'm just going to look straight on in the mirror. I can clearly see that here I do have hair and this is like the area that I've grown out. I'm going to get a little bit closer so you guys can see this area. It's not black like this area right here. But there's definitely hairs right here. So I'm going to be honestly just focusing here on this area, drawing a line above, and then filling the rest in. So I'm just going to go in and kind of do little small strokes as I started doing with the bottom of my brow. And just kind of fill in the little sparse spots as subtly and as just kind of like softly as I can. Now I'm just going to brush that really quick so that I can see where I'm at. And now I'm going to go in and do this line. Connecting the little hairs that aren't as grown out yet to the actual hairs that are growing on this side of my brow. And then I'm just doing small hair like strokes and filling that in so now as you can see we definitely have a brow obviously this area right here looks darker than this one what i really do like about the brow pencil is that it's not heavy i could do it very quickly and i'm not gonna need a makeup wipe unlike with the pomade if i mess up or anything i would have to take a makeup wipe and clean it up but really, the pencil just helps me be very precise and I can literally just do my eyebrows wherever if I just take it slow and follow these steps. So now I'm just gonna brush everything out. And also, brushing is very important not just to get your hairs in place and where they you want them to be, but it's also important so that the product that you applied on your brow blends to the best of its ability and it doesn't look harsh. I typically would just leave like this front part alone because I do like that ombre effect. So I would literally just not do anything to the front part of my brow. I would just brush it and then just let the brow be. So this would be the end result and what we're looking at. It is a much more natural and soft alternative. It looks way more natural than if I was going to do it with the pomade, which ends up looking harsher and more like an Instagram brow. And to me, honestly, I feel like pencils are just easier to work with for beginners as well. And if you just really don't want a pomade and if you want something natural, just pencils are the way to go. So that is how I do my brows with a pencil. And now I'm gonna be showing you how I do it with a pomade. So for my left brow, I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. And I'm gonna be using this Morphe brush. Same thing, we're starting off by brushing the brow. I'm just gonna go ahead and brush the brow up. And as I brush the brow up, that basically just exposes the areas with like no hair. Or just like where we kind of just have to draw that line as I was doing with this brow. Just now we're going to be doing it with a different product. So I would definitely recommend a brush like this that has a spoolie on the inside. Or if you don't have like a dual brush like this, you could just get a spoolie and get like a little angled brush like this. These brushes literally are the best for working with pomades. If you want to do like a smoked out like winged liner with like eyeshadow, these brushes are amazing. So basically what I'm going to do, as you guys can see, I have this little teeny tiny itsy bitsy like little hole right here where I dip my brush into it. So I'm literally just going to dip my brush in there the lightest that I can. Just with pomade, you really have to be careful not to overdo it. I literally go in with the tiniest bit. If you need to add more, then okay, add more. Build it up gradually. But honestly, I would rather have to build it up 20 times instead of like... Do it one time, super duper fast, tune, tune, and then end up with a Sharpie brow. So that's kind of why I like the pencil a little bit better personally. Because you can just really like look and be precise with the pencil and all that stuff. And you don't have to worry if it's like a lot or if it's not. Because the pencil just kind of like helps you and gives you like a more natural look either way. But with the pomade, you really have to be careful and be precise and just really learn how to work with it. So if you're newer to pomade, I would definitely recommend you to take it slow and just grab 
tiniest bit start with the tiniest bit and work your way up because honestly if you end up doing your brows way too fast they're not going to turn out good unless you're like very experienced and all that stuff now i'm just gonna go in to drawing that line i guess i'm gonna start from like right here so i guess from the arch of my eyebrow and just start drawing that line And then connect it to the rest of my brow with slow, just kind of fast strokes. Now, do you see that? Do you see I took barely any product and look at that line. That is a very dark line, very precise and very there. Like you can tell that that is there no matter what. Here's kind of more natural here. That is definitely there. So that's why you really want to be careful when working with pomade. Because definitely it is a more noticeable product. And you just don't want to have, you know, sharpie brows. If that's not the look that you're going for. So now that I basically just have that line underneath. What I'm going to do is just really work here in this area to connect it to like my actual brow hairs. And kind of like with the leftover pomade just fill things in a little bit. And now what I'm going to do is brush my hairs normally like I would as I did with the other brow and just see where I'm at. Okay, so I could definitely see in this area I don't have a lot of brow right here. So here is where I would be focusing the product right up here and connecting it over here to the tail. So I'm going to take a little bit more, a little bit, really, just less is more for this look, and you can work your way up. I am so serious, you guys. You do not need too much, because if not, you're going to end up looking crazy. So honestly, I'm just going to start from right here, and I'm just going to draw another line. Now clearly that line was not as dark and defined as this line, but you guys can totally tell that something is there and you guys can totally see the difference. So I am going to take a little bit more because that was like a little bit lighter than I expected and I'm going to just keep on filling it in just a little bit right there where we started and dragging it down all the way down to the tail. So now I'm pretty much satisfied with everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to brush all my hairs down. What this does is basically expose. Like now you guys can see the line at the bottom and the line at the top. So all throughout here, there's no product. And that's where I'm going to be filling in. Again, going in with a very light hand. All I'm going to do is just downward strokes like this. Downward strokes. Going with the hair. Just mainly very natural, very soft. Not too much product in, you know, an area because I don't want anything to look too dark or to look out of place. And then typically I would go up and kind of like do the same thing. This is just kind of like a method that I found that is pretty useful and helpful and also helps me like not go too overboard while filling in my brows because when you are filling in your brows with a pomade or a powder you definitely don't want to go overboard less is more because if you end up putting way too much powder or way too much pomade on your brow then your brow is just first of all your hairs when you try to take the pomade off they're gonna fall off your brow hairs and your brow is gonna end up being very sticky and just you know it's just something that I don't like so I am really careful not to use a whole lot of pomade or a whole lot of eyeshadow when I actually like do fill my brows in with like powder. I would usually just use like an eyeshadow to help me out if I need anything to look a little bit darker in any area. But honestly, that would be it. And the same thing with the other brow, just I don't touch my front part because I'm very blessed with a whole bunch of brow hairs right here. 
So all I would do is just brush them in the position that I want them to go. Kind of like help the brow out a little bit so that everything blends in. Everything looks nice and put together. I don't use brow gel anymore. I used to use the e.l.f. brow gel, but then last time I used it was on camera and you guys saw how that ended. I literally threw it away because it just, I really did not like how it made my brows feel. It made my brows crunchy. It was literally like an eyebrow like gel. Like literally like if you're thinking like hair gel, like that's what it was for my eyebrows. And I did not want that or like that at all so then i just got rid of it i'm not sure if all brow gels are like that because that's pretty much like the only brow gel i have tried but honestly i just do this like i don't really set my brows with anything i just let them be after i comb them for the last time and literally that's it that's all i do with my brows oh my gosh this is so this is kind of weird for me because i have not filled my brows in with pomade for such like a long time like it's very freaking weird for me to see this and it looks really natural and that's what I like I love the natural look even though we did this with pomade it looks natural and it looks really good and then we did this with pencil it looks natural and it looks good the only thing that I'm that I'm seeing that I don't like is that here the brow is round and pretty like that and here we have like that peak right there so I'm gonna fix that Honestly, what I would do sometimes I will carve out my brows sometimes I won't I have stopped carving out my brows It's just not something that I do on the everyday now every time I do my brows I just I stopped carving them out But you can carve them out with concealer if you want carving brows is basically just putting concealer under and Then just kind of like blending it so that it looks cleaner and stuff like that I just find myself not doing that anymore what I actually do if I want to like sharpen the brow up and I've actually been forgetting to do this in mm, some of my past videos and past times that I've like worn makeup is do the brow bone highlight. I love to just put take a little brush and put some highlight on my brow bone. That is just, I freaking flipping love brow bone highlight. But yeah, that's what I would do. So anyways, as you can see this peak is kind of like, and this one is more like smooth and going like that. So what I would do to fix like a makeup mistake is just like take like a makeup wipe, especially when I'm doing my brows. Because I do my brows before I do anything. Typically, I would just put primer on and then go on to brows in my makeup routine. So I'm free to just take a makeup wipe and wipe anything off. So that's why I like to do it like that. So I literally would just take this with my finger and just wipe off and kind of like shape it a little bit more. So that it's a little bit more roundish like the other one. Now they look more like sisters. Wow. This is so weird. Me like seeing myself with pomade and then seeing myself with pencil. Definitely pencil looks a lot more natural. But I really love like the pomade just gives my brow like it makes it match my hair more. It makes it match my hair more now that I'm looking at it because the pomade is like lighter brown. And the pencil just kind of like blends in with my black brown hairs oh my gosh this looks so weird but my brows look so good but yeah that's the end of this video i'm not gonna carve my brows out because i don't really do that anymore and i'm not gonna do brow bone highlight because i'm just literally just gonna leave my brows like this for the day but yeah this is just basically how i do my brows and how to do eyebrows with pomade and with so i hope you guys could learn a little bit from this video let me zoom you guys all actually because this is the outro um but yeah i hope that you guys were able to learn i hope that this video is not like so long but thank you guys so so much for watching this is a brand new series on my channel that i am so excited about i just can't wait to keep on doing different things like highlight contour foundation just all the other things that there is to make up in this series so thank you guys so much for watching give this video a huge thumbs up if it was helpful and if you liked it share it with a friend and subscribe if you like me if you like my channel if you like my content i try to balance it out between a little bit of beauty and a little bit of my life and vlogs and fun videos like that but yeah <laughs> anyways if you want to watch my last video click right here if you want to watch something else click right here and if you want to subscribe click my face right there or the big red button somewhere down here i love you guys so much and i will see y'all in the next video Whoosh.